How's it going guys? Today, I'll be showing you how to upload your very own custom avatar into VRChat using the brand new VRChat Creator Companion, or VCC for short, which will help you with updating and managing your VRChat projects. So, with all that out of the way, let's get started. Before we begin, you should have Unity Hub and VCC installed. Head to the link in the description and download the Unity Hub installer. Run the installer, then open up Unity Hub. It will prompt you to sign in with your Unity ID. Do so, and then you're done with Unity Hub. Next, you'll install the Creator Companion. Head to the VRChat website and sign in. Under Downloads, select Download Creator Companion, and then run the installer. Once it is complete, the Creator Companion will automatically launch. You'll be given a brief introduction to the application. Click through the setup until you're prompted to install VRChat's current Unity version. At the time of recording, this is 2019.4.31, but VRChat changes Unity versions every so often. So if what you see is different, don't worry about it. I'll have a link in the description to VRChat's documentation stating the current Unity version for you to verify if you're unsure. Allow it to install Unity. It might take a hot minute, so if you want to speed up the process, try clicking the subscribe button. I've heard it'll download more RAM or something. Once it's done, you're ready to start your first project. Select Create a New Project. Choose the Avatar Project template, then specify a name and file location. Finally, click Create Project. Once the VCC does its thing, select Open Project and it will begin opening. Once Unity is open, it's time to import your avatar files. Typically, this will be a 3D model file like an FBX and its corresponding texture files. If you downloaded an avatar off of a marketplace like Booth, Gumroad, or Sketchfab, it likely included a Unity package file, which will import most of your avatar's needed assets. Double-click or drag in the Unity package, and on the pop-up window, select Import. Be sure to check the description of the avatar you purchased, as there may be some required packages you'll need to import in order to make avatar setup less of a hassle. Usually, this will be a shader. In my case, this avatar is set up using a shader called LittleTune, so I'll head to the LittleTune GitHub page and download the latest Unity package. Since this avatar was purchased from a marketplace, it is already set up in the form of a prefab. All we have to do is drag the prefab into the scene, then open the VRC control panel and select Build and Publish. If your avatar isn't set up, here's what you need to do. Make sure your rig is set up as humanoid. Select your avatar's model in the project window and head over to the inspector. Click on the Rig tab and under the Animation Type dropdown, select Humanoid and click Apply. You can check out your model's skeleton by clicking Configure. Some of the bones are optional. Unity will turn part of the skeleton red if you're missing any that are required. Unmap toe bones if necessary to prevent your avatar from tiptoeing, and make sure nothing is mapped to your jaw unless your model actually has a bone for the jaw. When you're finished, click Apply and hit Done to exit configuration. Next, add your model to the scene. If it's bright pink, you might need to find your materials and select a new shader to use. Select your avatar, and in the inspector, search for the component VRC Avatar Descriptor. The first thing we'll do here is set our view position. Adjust the Y and Z values so the ball is in between the avatar's eyes and about halfway inside the head. If you don't see the ball, make sure you have gizmos enabled. Next, we'll set up lip sync. If your avatar has Visine blend shapes, you'll want to select that from the drop-down here. Define your face mesh here, and it should automatically populate the available Visines. If needed, you can use the drop-downs here to manually select the appropriate blend shapes. If you want your avatar to have eye tracking, define your eye bones here. 
The calm, excited slider determines how frequently your avatar blinks, and the shy, confident slider affects how often your avatar looks at other players. Rotation state options will give you more control over how far the eyes will move with a preview. To enable blinking, define your eyelid type here. If you're using blend shapes, define your body mesh and select your blinking blend shape from the dropdown. Look up and look down blend shapes will usually tweak positioning of the eyes, iris, lids, and or eyebrows. With that, your avatar is now ready to be uploaded. Go to the VRChat SDK control panel and select Build and Publish. Give your avatar a name, click on the legally binding checkbox, and hit upload. Your avatar should now be available to use in VRChat with working lip sync and eye tracking. If this video helped you and you want to see more, consider subscribing. And if you need any help, want to show off or just hang out, come join my Discord. Link in the description. I've also linked some bonus documentation from VRChat's website. Anyways, that's going to be it for now. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.